backyard and picked up a couple of mirrors, tow mirrors, for a 2015 Dodge Ram. This one says 2016. This one, this one says 2017, but they look identical. The plugs are the same. And I'm gonna replace my standard size mirrors, which don't have the turn signal or the puddle light. But our power and have the defrost. He's got the defrost. The turn signal and the puddle light. Alright, let's see if it works. So I guess we're gonna need a 10 millimeter Phillips and T20. Disconnected the battery cable. I just got a rubber glove here. Keep it from connecting. Dorks. So as before. And after. Yeah, these flip out too. Alright, let's do this side. Uh, one thing I did too is I rolled down the windows before disconnecting the battery power so I can get my hands out there and hold the mirror on while I bolt it on. I've seen some people take a pry tool and pry these out. I'm just kind of afraid to do that because they're just little plastic screws. I don't want to strip out the little threads. If you put a screw gun on there, they are threaded. They'll, they'll come off of there. These little clips you gotta watch though. When you pop those out, they'll go flying. All right, this pops off here. So let's screw it here. This just pops off of here. Unplug. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just one clip. And this whole thing just pops up and out. Let's set that over there. This little thing here goes on this plastic part, don't forget. It looks like this module does have the extra plug for the lights. Turn signal light, so that's gonna plug in there. So we don't need to replace the module to make everything work. Just these three bolts here. Put the camera down. And this. <laughs> Just comes out like that. Let's put that one on. If you are switching from uh, standard mirrors to the uh, tow mirrors, there is a T shaped bracket that's going to come down in here and it's going to bolt in here. 
I can uh, put the parts number in the description. You're definitely going to want that. I've got mine on order. This should be here tomorrow, but uh, I just want to see if these mirrors work with the, the turn signal. So we'll try that out in a second here. Black one. White one. Let's try this. Turn on the hazards. It's blinking. Oh, look at that. It's blinking. Got some blinky over here and blinky over here. Right, let's see if the puddle light works. It's a puddle light. Right here. Let's see if that works. So I think I might not be able to see this during the day. I don't know if there's a sensor that it only comes on at night. But if you hit the unlock button. Alright, maybe there's a sensor that it only comes on at night. I'll try it at night. I'm sure that'll work though. To get this to work though, um, I did have to purchase an app from the Google App Store. It's called Alpha OBD. And you can just use an OBD2 plug. Uh, I think I paid like 10 bucks on Amazon for the OBD2. The, the app was uh, $49.95. Yeah, it just plugs into the, the OBD2. And then you can go in here and turn on your uh, turn signals on the side view mirror so you don't have to go to the dealership. But yeah, it looks like it worked. Uh, 125 a piece for some towing mirrors at a junkyard. A little, little scratch. So, uh, I think I can buff that out the. So ten signal light works. Let's try the uh, the power. Yep, power works. It's working. So that's awesome. I'm sure everything works now. I mean, uh, defrost. Probably have to have a key in there. Get them to heat up. But yeah. Okay, this is the bracket. You can order these online. I think I found them as cheap as uh, seven fifty-eight bucks. Then you gotta pay for shipping. I think I paid ten bucks at the dealership. Uh, they had them to me overnight. Um, you pick them up from the dealership. They didn't mail them to me. So uh, the one thing that this dealership doesn't do is uh, give you the hardware for this stuff. Nor do they even understand what hardware you need. Uh, they got everything. I just need the bolts. And uh, I found a bolt place not too far from me. And these are the right bolts. And the uh, description for this part calls for a rivet, a riveted bolt, hex bolt, or something like that. A nut, a riveted nut. And this is what they gave me. They said this is a riveted nut, but it doesn't fit the hex shaped holes that are in the door. It's out of frustration. I went to the hardware store and I bought this. This little plastic anchor these fold in this way you stick that in the hole it opens up you put a screw through here it pops out there and you'll be able to tighten that up so I'm actually just screwing it on here with the washer and that's what it looks like installed that is the Tomir reinforcement bracket it's only pretty good these engineers put it on there for a reason so if you're gonna get the tow mirror upgrade from the standard mirror, probably should get this bracket. You know, the mirror did feel pretty good, but again, you know, it's on there for a reason. So, All right, let's do the other side. Yeah, that's what it looks like without the bracket. That's a little hex holes. So hopefully, somebody who wants to do this can find the right hardware I can. This is what we're doing. Folding that in. Putting it in here. Just like that. Taking this one. Fold it in, put it in here. And we got another hole over here. Taking this guy. And 
of sticking out a little bit. I need a little influence. There we go, factory OEM. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Boom, there it is. Right, let's put this door back on here. Okay, if you are upgrading from stain and mirrors to tow mirrors, uh, these are factory tow mirrors. I got them from a junkyard. It's got the turn signal. It's got the puddle light. Oh, look at that. It's a little puddle light action. But I'm gonna show you how to turn these on. Um, this turn signal is not going to work. Your puddle light might glow, like a very, very faint glow, but it's not going to work. This I picked up on Amazon. Let's see if it'll focus in. If you can see, I got it upside down. There we go. I'll put a link in the description. Ten bucks. This is all you need. This is a model V, is in Victor P, is in Paul one one. It's called V Peak OBD2 Diagnostic Scanner for Android. I got an Android. Plugs in right here by the light to the OBD. Put the car on accessory. And then you need Alpha OBD. Open that up. Click the Bluetooth button. It's called OBD2. On my phone, it says connecting. I don't know if you can see that. Saying so connected. So you select your RAM 1500 body computer, select the control unit. Mine's a 15, 2015, so I can select 2015. Then it says connect requested to body. Hit connect. So scanning, then it says connected to body. Right there. Down here on the bottom, we hit this little car. We're gonna scroll all the way down here. here. Let me go back so you can see what I just did. This thing's having a hard time focusing. So right in here in the top, so select procedure to start. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. Car configuration change. Select option. Now right about I don't know if you can see this little marker sliding down, this little marker here, right about when it hits the G, at least on my phone. There's a few things that you're going to look for. Um, you want to set, and you can only do one at a time. And then once you set it, you uh, have to shut the car off, pull the little OBD, plug off, open the door. you let, got to let the car set for at least, it says 30 seconds on this app. Um but probably a good three minutes, and then uh, start it back up and, and it should work for you. Uh, what we're looking for are a couple of things. You need to look for tow mirrors. Um, by selecting tow mirrors, that is going to allow you to adjust your mirror while it's in the tow position, because these mirrors, they can flip out. So when I first hooked these up, ugh, I flipped it out. And then I went to control my mirror, up went left and right, up and down, and then up and down went, you know what I mean, it was, it was backwards. So by selecting tow mirror, when it's in this position, it's going to work now. 
Alright, so you want to turn on the tow mirror. You're looking for something called turn signal on the side view mirror. Here we go. Doors mirror turn signal present. You want to turn that on. If you can see that. Focus, focus. Alright, you want to turn that on. Uh, see this uh, tow mirror present. You want to turn that on. Blind spot mirror. That doesn't really do anything. And you would think that that little light on the bottom is a puddle light. And there is a button in here called puddle light. But that is not what makes that work. What makes that work is mirror approach lights present. That's what's going to make your puddle light work. You want to set like that to yes. Again, you can only turn these on one at a time. But, uh... Yeah, that's how you do it. All right, so I already got all this turned on. I'm on. I got the the tow mirrors turned on. I got the turn signal on the mirror turned on. I got the mirror. It's called the the approach light or something like that. I got that turned on, so my puddle lights are gonna work. I'm gonna try something. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I don't know if you can see this. There's something called. Yeah, the mirror approach light present. There is something called passenger and driver memory mirror present from what I read online. If you have this feature, that will be in your radio and you have two presets that you can save your your adjustments for your mirror. And then when you flip it into the uh, toe position, you can just hit the memory one or memory two and it'll, it'll automatically adjust. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. This is an experiment. I'm going to try this out. But... I didn't really show you how to turn any of these on either, so I'll just do this here. So I'll do the driver's side, memory. And it says, yes, I selected yes. You just click here. Yes. You hit start. And it says the current status of component is no. And I'm going to change it to yes. I hit next. It says the procedure is complete. This time, I take the key out. I pull a little... OBD2 plug out of there. I'll open the door. Let the radio on off. All the power got killed. Then we wait for at least 30 seconds and then we'll we'll turn on the radio, see if it worked. Alright, it's been several minutes. Let's see if this works. Except settings no, I'm not seeing anything I don't think that one safety assistance yeah I just got the hill start There's the more button no, it didn't work on mine. All right, so what I got to do is go back into the Alpha OBD app and uh, shut that back off. Anytime you turn something on, it didn't work, I'll go back in and shut it off because you might end up with some errors um, if you're turning something on that's, that's not working. So I don't know if it just doesn't work with my model truck or it doesn't work with this radio. Maybe I need the bigger you know, RE4 or 8.2 screen or something. I don't know, but... Um, yeah, that feature didn't work. But I got the mirrors to work, power, turn signal, puddle light, everything works. Uh, good to go. Hope this helps you guys.